This video is going to tell you everything that you need to know to get the sizing right for your ducted system. If you're using Victorian Energy Upgrades rebates, this video is going to be for you. Even if you're not, this video will provide you all the information that you need to make the right choice for your ducted system. So in this video, we're going to go over why sizing matters and what the consequences are when you choose the wrong sizing for your system. They can be quite severe. Then we're going to go through the key factors of sizing a system. Then we're going to go through the calculations that you can use yourself to estimate the size that you need. And that's going to be the video. It's going to be short and sweet. So I'm only going to say this once in the video. My name is Jesse. I'm the owner of Gridless. We help connect you to the best installers in Australia and we help you get the government rebates as well. So if you're interested in getting an air conditioning system and you're based in Melbourne, please visit gridless.com.au. We'd love to help you out for free. All right, moving on. So let's start with why sizing is important. So choosing the right sized air conditioner is very important because if you go too small or too big, you're looking at very negative consequences for your air conditioner. So let's start with getting a system that's too big. If you get a system that's too big, you might think this is gonna be fine. I'm gonna have a much more powerful system and it's gonna heat and cool much more effectively. The thing is, that's not how it works. So we're gonna go over the cons of getting a system that is too big. If it's too big, the system's going to be too powerful and it's gonna be blowing a lot of air into your ducting, which is gonna cause your ducting to become loose. So you definitely don't want a system that's blowing too much air into the ducts. If you don't have enough outlets, it also doesn't have enough places to go, which further increases pressure in the system and can actually damage your system itself and potentially void the warranty. So it's bad for your system, it's bad for your ducts, it's also bad for your outlets. There have been cases where if the system's too powerful, it can blow away your outlets and it is also more noisy and there's a less consistent temperature. So this is probably the worst case scenario. If you get a system that's too big, that's too powerful, it's gonna cause you a lot of issues down the line. Your system's not going to last as long and even the ducting and the outlets, they're not gonna last as long either. It's also negative to get a system that's too small. A system that is too small won't be effective either. It won't be effective at heating and cooling your home. You might think a system that's too small will save you money. But in reality, it's just going to be very frustrating for you because you're not going to reach the desired temperature and you're going to wonder why you got an air conditioning system at all. So definitely don't go too small, too big. So there are a bunch of different variables that go into sizing a ducted system. Now you may have seen calculators and coefficients online and while these can help you get to what you should get, there are a lot of different variables that will affect the size of the system that you need. So let's go through those. Number one is the most obvious, that's room size. The more square meterage you need, the higher kilowatt system that you'll need. The next is ceiling height, and this one often goes under the radar. The larger your ceilings, if they're not a standard three meter ceiling, then that you will actually need a larger kilowattage as well. The insulation quality also matters. Depending on the material that you have in your house, if it is not well insulated, you're going to need a larger system. The more insulated it is, the more money you're going to be able to save by getting a smaller system. The fourth thing is climate. If you're in a region with extreme temperatures, you'll need a slightly higher than normal capacity unit to deal with those large fluctuations in temperature. In Melbourne, as we all know, the weather can change on a dime. It'll be sunny in the morning and it'll be extremely hot in the afternoon. The fifth factor is sun exposure. If you have large windows and they get a lot of sun exposure, that's going to affect the temperature of your house a lot more. So you're going to need a larger system to deal with that. To give you a better idea of what size ducted air conditioner you might need, let's look at some guidelines based on the recommendation for the Victorian Energy Upgrades Program. So the Victorian Energy Upgrades Program recommends that for every 10 square meters of space served by your ducted system, it's suggested you allocate 1.1 to 1.4 kilowatts of heating or cooling output, depending on your properties, characteristics, like insulation, climate, and room temperature. So that would mean for a 100 square meter house, you'd be looking at generating 11 to 14 kilowatts of output. For larger homes, let's say 250 square meters, according to the VEU, you'd be looking at getting a system from 27.5 kilowatts all the way to 35 kilowatts. The only issue with that is that there aren't really residential systems that deal with that. The larger residential systems start at 18 kilowatts, they go to 20 kilowatts, and some systems go up to 25 kilowatts, but you'll struggle to find a lot of systems that actually qualify for any rebates. So what's the deal? I've spoken to a lot of installers of systems. Very rarely do they go for industrial sized units for large homes. The solution actually lies in zoning. You're probably not using every area of your house all the time. So zoning allows you to save energy, but also allows you to actually make use of your system effectively by minimizing the amount of the house that you're cooling or heating. Okay guys, that's the video, short and sweet. If you have any questions or any other content that you'd like me to cover, please let me know. Thank you for watching, bye.